So this is the session uh, on the AMC clinical portal. Uh, when you will, we will give you a specific um, login details to sign in this portal. This is an emergency focus AMC clinical course, and it is the complete A to Z of all the AMC clinical content. It is organized in a form of chapters. As you can see, it has an introductory uh, introduction and introduction has got all the essentials and how to plan yourselves and the frameworking for the AMC clinical exam. It has section on pediatrics, four chapters on pediatrics and each chapter has further eight topics. So if there are five topics and eight topics per uh, chapter, then you'll have about um, 40 topics on pediatrics and they are organized in videos in notes and guidelines. Uh, there's a section on OBS and gynae. There are about four sections on that. There's sections on psychiatry, there's sections on psychogeriatric medicine, physical exam, medicine and surgery. And then there's a bonus section on dermatology. We've also got flashcards. Some of the most commonly asked questions uh, are organized as quick um, recounting and recollection of your memory through the flashcards. And I'll take you through that. And finally, we have got live sessions. So all of the course that we have done previously, they are organized into a long form content. So that's the scenario done exactly under the exam conditions and the feedback from the faculty. And they are organized in pediatrics, ONG, medicine, psychiatry, all of that. And then we've also got a downloadable section in which we have got exam specific instruction according to the latest guidelines from the AMC website. And plus you've got also a downloadable format book of Murta general practice. Now let's take you through. For instance, if I'm doing a section on pediatrics and if I open up the pediatric abdominal um, scenario, just what will do, what will happen is that you will have a scenario open up as scenario one. And let's see, we'll do the scenario. This is a scenario about a four-year-old boy who's presented to an emergency department with a father complaining of severe abdominal pain, limping and skin rash. And the child has an upper wrist tract infection for about a week. Uh, you're meant to be taking a history, ordering investigations, come up with a differential diagnosis and management and answer father's questions and queries. We'll give you a framework. You'll have two minutes to read the task, read the question, come up with the differentials and plan your task in eight minutes to go through our uh, framework, which we always organize into your minds to do your exam. Then you will have a feedback in the form of notes set, scenario specific learning. What were you meant to be asking in history? Uh, what were the physical examination findings you meant to be doing? What investigation need to be planned according to bedside labs, radiology? And what would be the findings? So this is all the notes which are available on this um, topic in this section. So you don't have to open the book, open up the resource, open up the guideline. Everything is arranged exactly how it should be in this format. Now, let's take you, and if you go down, it has got all the guidelines from the Royal Children's Hospital, Sydney Children's Hospital. So all of the guidelines, somebody has been amalgamated here on this portal. And when you, and then there are discharge instructions, there are additional notes about the abdominal pain. So it covers the topic of entire abdominal pain along with the differential on this topic in this portal. Now, what about the video that I was starting? So this is the video and it's got a little timer. So if you press this play- Just let us speak the whole time. Candidate, so when I- There's a candidate who is actually doing the scenario in exam condition, in exam time, and you will get a feedback by the faculty at the end of the scenario. And every topic is organized in that way. So if I was to go onto the Down syndrome topic, again, the scenario is about a patient who's presented to general practice, a 40-year-old accountant, Ms. Jones, who wants to get some information about a Down syndrome. He's recently remarried, his second wife, who's 38 years old, and they're considering having a child, but worry about the age and possibility of Down syndrome. Your task are to counsel the patient with Down syndrome. So again, in this video, if I play it. Hello, Mr. Jones. So you'll have the candidate actually doing the scenario under the exam condition, the faculty giving them a feedback. So the complete video is about 30 minutes or 22 minutes. And that'll give you a complete feedback about what you were meant to be counseling about the Down syndrome patient and how were you meant to be counseling. And then again, additionally, you will get the written information about the screening test, the diagnostic test, how they are done all in this portal. So this portal is actually there to support you so that you don't no longer have to go 
and seek information from other side. And whenever you complete a topic, you can mark complete or mark incomplete. And what will happen is there's a progress bar here. Right now it's 0% complete. And as you progress onto the topics, it will mark completion. And this is very important because as soon as you completed all the topics, the course will be completed for you and you will be also able to download a certificate uh, with absolute no hassle at all. Now, as I said, this is a very intuitive platform. It is only exclusively available to all our emergency focus.net AMC clinical participants. And it has got all the topics organized. So there's a pediatrics topic, ONG topic, uh, gynecology topics, um, psychiatry topics, psychogenic topics, physical exam, medicine, surgery, all of it. And uh, these live sessions are actually long form sessions. So if I were to open the pediatric session, this is now a two hour and 34 minute video with all the scenarios on pediatrics in this two and a half hours. So you can play it and listen when you're doing something in the background and it'll reinforce everything according to the topic cluster and the topic cluster is available over here. It's about head injury, seizure management, uh, BRUE and development delays and other topics. So this is very good and it is also available in all the topic organizations. So I hope you find this uh, platform very useful. The feedback from our last batch was very, very positive. They really liked the format. They also gave me a feedback. It saves them a lot of time not to go out and look for any guidelines. So this is very good. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope to see you all during the sessions and we'll take it from there. Thank you.